Okay, once again, I've had some friends ask me, hey, how do you up or load up folders that you buy from uh, the premium content or on the Beat Buddy uh, site? And uh, so <clears throat> here it is right here. This is the way I do it. I do this way each and every time. Same results, works out perfect. So, what I do is when I get into the Beat Buddy Manager, just at random, I'll go over here and to the uh, useful links segment. I'll go down here to the premium content library. And let's just see if there's anything new. And yes, there is. Eric Clapton. Uh, greatest hits right here. Click on this. Sweet. Seven bucks. And there's all the songs that are going to be available on here. So, um, I've, uh, just to get ahead of myself here a little bit, I've already downloaded it, and I put it into my favorite folder, right here, right here, this is my commercial downloads, I call it, and these are all the ones I've downloaded already, but here's the latest one, and these are going to come to you uh, compressed, now I'm working off of Windows 7, so I don't use any kind of an external uh, um, uncompressing program like WinZip or 7-Up or, or anything like that. This is built right into Windows 7. So here's the folder that I downloaded right off of the BeatBuddy site, off the premium content site. And as you can see right here, it's indicating it's zipped. So I'm going to right click. We're going to extract all, and what it's going to do is by default, it's going to extract it right back to this uh, same folder. So I'll hit extract right there, and there it is. Right there. See, there's all the songs right there. It's all broken down. It's uncompressed, zipped. Now right here, is going to be the key to um, loading this up under the Beat, Butter, Beat, <laughs> Beat Buddy Manager. Ugh. It's too early in the morning and I need more coffee. But uh, anyway, this is, man, this is a nice little uh, list of songs right here. And the cool part is they're all broken down so you can get the full advantage of the Beat Buddy pedal, which means you'll have an intro, you'll have a main uh, verse, and then, of course, you got fills. And then transitions into like a chorus. Uh, you know, the drums will be slightly different there. And then you'll get the outro. You'll be able to double click on the Beat Buddy pedal and then boom, it'll give you a nice little outro. That's the beauty of this, uh, these professionally made uh, songs right here. So, okay, let's get back out of here. I don't need that no more. We're going to come back to that. So here we go. Now we are on uh, the Beat Buddy Manager. I've opened it up. So what we're going to do is import that Eric Clapton folder. So what I want to do is go over here to File, Import, not just a single song, or but we want to uh, import a folder because this folder contains all the Eric Clapton songs. So we want to go with the folder. Boom, now it's going to take us over here to my commercial downloads. And uh, here it is right here. Eric Clapton's greatest hits. I'm just going to click on that. And we're going to scroll down and we want to go to this file right here, Eric Clapton, the greatest hits, .pbf. You don't want to individually load these up. You want to be able to load these up as a folder that's going to show up on your Beat Buddy pedal. So we'll click on the PBF file, and there it is, importing all these songs. Right here, you're going to have to give it a minute. I'm using a... Um, memory stick as my uh, um, 
where I uh, store everything, so it's going to take a second here. But if you had this all set up right on your computer hard drive, I'm sure it would go a lot faster. But that's not the point right now. Um, so it's, it's going to take a minute for all these songs to get uh, set up. There we go. It's moving along. There we go. Loading the folder content now. Boom. There you go. Now if you look over here on the left side, Eric Clapton, Greatest Hits. You click on plus and there you go. There's all your songs. You click on a song. Boom. There it is. And it's all broken down. The intro, the verses, everything. It's all set up. So as you're playing the song, uh, you just click the beat buddy uh, pedal, you know, at the appropriate times there, and it'll run you right through the songs. But anyway, we got that. So now we want to take this off of our computer and we want to push it over into the Beat Buddy pedal or otherwise synchronize it with the Beat Buddy manager on your computer. We want to put this on the pedal. So what we will do is go back up here to File. We want to synchronize the project. Click on that and see Synchronize Project to I, which is other words, this is where it's going to the pedal. I have the pedal plugged in uh, via USB. And we just say yes. And this could take a few, few minutes um, while it uh, gets everything lined up. Here we go. So now it's synchronizing the project. Everything that's new that is not on the pedal is now being pushed onto the pedal. And there you have it. That's it. So now, just unplug your Beat Buddy foot pedal. And boom. Go jam. So, hey, I hope this helps out a little bit. Thanks for checking this out. It's not professional by any means, but this is just the way I do things. So, again, thank you for checking this out.